Welcome to worship at First Congregational United Church of Christ Phoenix, where extravagant welcome is an everyday way of living. This is the church that says, come, be a part of our family. Come be one with God. No matter where you've been in life, there is a place for you here. No matter where you are on your journey, here is a place to rest. Good morning, First Church. Good morning. Bienvenidos a todos. Thank you for joining us today as we celebrate the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. I'd also like to welcome all of you who couldn't join us today, but are joining us by radio on KPHX 1480 AM. Here at the First Congregational Church, we are a faith community following the teachings of Jesus Christ. We believe that God is still speaking, and no matter where you are on life's journey, Regardless of your religious heritage, your race, your gender, your sexual orientation, economic status, or any other box society has put you in, please know that you are welcomed and accepted here at First Church. We have a gift for anybody who's joining us for the first time, so if you are here for the first time, could you please raise your hand? Okay, nobody knew this week. Okay. Um, I would like to invite all of you, though, to join us over in Pilgrim Hall after the service for refreshments and some fellowship. And your order of worship is a green sheet that has all the information of the activities here at church this week. Please take them home with you, and that way you'll be able to stay abreast of what's going on. There are a couple of things I would like to highlight for you today. We'll be having a special, special disaster relief collection for the victims of Hurricane Sandy. Please give generously as you can. And could I get the ushers to hand out the Ritual of Friendship books? Okay, I'd like to ask everybody to sign them and pass them down the aisles. Where are the ushers? <laughs> They're in already? Oh, okay. Great. So just please sign in and pass them down. And I'd like to wish Marilyn Arman, Robert Howell, and Joan Greiner happy birthdays this week. And now I'd like to bring up Sue Bartz, who has t- some information about the Wilson School for you. I'm not Sue Bartz. Sue, you've changed. (laughs) No, I haven't. (laughs) Well, you know what time of year it is. Well, yeah, the the cool weather, the cool weather. And Christmas, very good. Someone was paying attention. It's time for the Wilson School Christmas um, party and festivities. Um, So I just wanted to let you all know that next week... Next Sunday, uh, the week before Thanksgiving, we will have our kid letters to, um, you know, the guy, and um, we will be, we have 17 kids this year, which is fewer than we've had in the past, and I know that there's always a big mosh pit of struggle trying to get Christmas letters every year. Um, so I would suggest that for those of you who have done it, you know, every, every, every year, you might want to think about taking a step back and letting someone else jump up there and get it. But honestly, I think that if it brings you joy every year, that you should get in the mosh pit and elbow your way in and get your Christmas letter if that's what you want to do. Um, but I just, like I say, I wanted to let you know that there'd be 17 kids. But we're doing something a little special this year in addition to our usual holiday party festivities. And one of those is we're going to be sponsoring um, the children to go and see Zoo Lights. So we'll be collecting dollars for people, from people specifically to help folk, the kids go to Zoo Lights. And um, I don't know if you've ever been, but it really is a magical night if you get to go there. So for some kids who've never been before, I think it will be a spectacular evening for them. So um, if anybody has any questions, I'll be over at Pilgrim Hall by the mission table after church. You can come up and talk to me, and I'll give you the wherefores and what's of um, any, answer any questions you might have. But we're, we're, we're starting, it's starting up. It's starting. So thanks. Thank you, Sue. Um, and also, I want to let everybody know today you'll see things a little differently up on the altar. Today is Youth Sunday, and the youth of our congregation and some of their friends will be uh, having a much larger part in the service today. So I want to thank them all for participating and contributing to today's service. 
Sages will be presenting Bob McNamara, who has over 30 years as a CBS correspondent. Um, he will share his views on the changes in the news business, and I'm sure over 30 years he's seen quite a lot. Um, that will be on Wednesday, November 14th at 10 a.m., and you can find all the information for that on your green sheet. Next Sunday is Stewardship Sunday, so we ask that you really give a lot of thought this week and pray a lot on your pledges for the coming year. Um, you can put them in the mail and send them back to the church, or you can bring them with you next Sunday and drop them in the collection basket. And after making your generous contributions next week, the least we could do is feed you. So we'll be having a soup fest next Sunday. David Samora and his team will be over in the uh, hall getting uh, people who want to contribute to that. He has a list of what they still need, and we'll have a great soup fest going on next Sunday in Pilgrim Hall following the service. Lastly, I want to invite you today to join us in Pilgrim Hall following the service. We'll be having the final conversation on uh, social justice. Are we doing enough? And it's, social justice has been a very important part of First Church, and the conversation is part of our visioning process and part of the information that we need gathered for the search for our new pastor. So we'd really like to hear from all of you to see um, how important social justice is to you, any programs you might be interested in, um, things that you might know that we're not doing and would like to, to make us aware of. So please join us in Pilgrim Hall following the service. It'll probably start about uh, 15 minutes after the service. We'll give everybody a chance to get their refreshments. Do we have any other announcements today? Then let us worship God. <clears throat> 